the state of 3D printing today uh, goes two ways. Uh, there's people who are developing machines that, that can print with materials that we currently use uh, through tra traditional manufacturing processes. And there's people that are developing platforms uh, based on, on multiple materials. And this will enable a broad range of new applications by being able to manufacture products that we were not able to manufacture through traditional techniques. We've developed a low-cost multi-material 3D printing platform that can print with um, up to 10 materials and it's machine vision enabled. So we use machine vision techniques to enhance or amplify the capabilities of current multi-material printing technologies. We call our project Multifab. And with Multifab, you integrate these two worlds of traditional manufacturing and 3D printing. And by putting them together, you, you can create a whole new range of objects that we haven't been able to, to make today. The machine vision system integrated in Multifab allows us to easily and very quickly calibrate the printing system. Second, we use machine vision to integrate existing components into the printing process. So imagine we put components into the printer's build platform, we scan the objects, and then we use that 3D geometry information to print objects around those existing objects. Right now, a big portion of the 3D printing uh, kind of hardware that's available is focused on printing form and on objects for prototyping. The holy grail is to print things that are fully functional right out of the printer, combining multiple materials with many different properties, but also existing objects that have some inherent functionality. We printed a lenses on top of LEDs. We, we put this existing LED into the printer and we print a lens on top. Designers and engineers are, are used to designing with more one material. So the whole design paradigm, like how we actually design products and objects will have to change. And that's gonna require new hardware, that's gonna require new software, and that's gonna require whole new platforms. And it's gonna, we're gonna have to change the way us engineers and designers think about design and, and creating products and objects.